Hello, welcome to my daily portfolio update. This is Fernando and welcome to our Fidelity account series. Today I actually have a relatively short video. Um, I want to go over with you guys how the portfolio is performing. And this is this picture you guys are seeing here right now is as of yesterday, September 24th. So we had lost around a dollar forty one cents, so not too big of a difference. But um, as you guys can see, total portfolio value is 1,940. Uh, biggest gainer had been Peloton, or I mean, I, I apologize, but biggest loser was Peloton, um, followed by Broom and DocuSign. And then our biggest gainer was Goldman Sachs. So with that being said, guys, I mean, Peloton, interestingly enough, is still our number one gainer. Uh, we have a 18% return on that investment. And Broom is actually one of our least performers or worst performers uh, followed by Spotify, DocuSign, and Apple. So this is very interesting because, I mean, um, a lot of these companies were the same companies that were um, performing very, very well um, months ago. So now you can kind of see them pulling back uh, pretty rapidly. Uh, we did get an NVIDIA dividend yesterday. Uh, so that's something to uh, keep in mind. Uh, we do have a small amount invested in NVIDIA. So um, NVIDIA is definitely going through some changes with their acquisition of ARM. Um, and then Amazon, for example, is another company. They had some quarterly uh, or like a shareholder meeting where they announced some, some new products. Um, so probably we might see some good activity from them tomorrow. Now, this right now is what the market is performing at the time of doing this video. So as you can see, the market today, September 25th, is actually up. So it seems like hopefully we're going to end up the week with a green day. Uh, Peloton, um, you know, pretty much having a strong day. Uh, and then Costco is actually being our worst performer. Um, they had their earnings call yesterday, and, and they actually performed really good numbers. So I'm, um, I probably have to do some little more research as to why they're down. Uh, not not entirely sure there, but uh, that's that's very interesting. I thought it would it would have been going up because they did beat um, most of the expectations. So, with that being said, I mean we still have Peloton coming up um, number one. We we did buy something today. I, I initiated a position on UPS. I bought a total of 1% um, in of my portfolio, which uh, roughly comes to like $20. Um, other than that, guys, I mean, like you guys are seeing, you know, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, and S&P so far for today are going good. The NASDAQ looking to end the week strong with a positive number, and then the Dow Jones and S&P with a small loss if it continues to remain flat. Apple will be announcing a new iPhone in October 13th, so I'm really looking forward to that. Tesla, I mean, their, their battery day wasn't as uh, good as we all expected. Nothing radical other than some new battery breakthroughs, which are going to be really good for the company, but maybe nothing as crazy as a lot of people would have thought uh, in terms of unveiling new products. NCLH is a stock that had been going down significantly. I don't have it in this portfolio, but I do have it in a different one, and it had been hurting. I'm happy to see it go up. Um, NVIDIA, like I mentioned, with their acquisition of ARM, uh, they're going to be a power force if it's approved, um, which that's going to take some time. Uh, Zoom, I've never really invested in Zoom because I've always, I've always thought the stock is too high, but I'm, I continue to be impressed how this stock just continues to go up. Um, SPG, we do have some investment in SPG right now. Um, it's not performing very well, but that's more long term, so I'm not too concerned. AMD, again, a good stock, uh, kind of competing with NVIDIA. So that will be all for today, guys. We are approaching that end of the month where I will put another $1,000. But other than that, I mean, I'll see you guys on Monday. I hope you guys have a great weekend and stay safe.